Oh, 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 or Lumen Gangnam Style. So for those of you who are not among the two billion people who have seen a music video featuring this man, then click the link in the description below and check it out. For the rest of you, we're going to make this little action figure inspired by Gangnam Style. And before beginning, I want to also send a special thanks to PG's Lumacy, who has inspired the basic structure for this and every action figure you ever watch on YouTube. Get your supplies ready. To make this figure, you'll need 30 black rubber bands, 28 blue rubber bands. I'm using Rainbow Loom brand Ocean Blue, 10 white rubber bands, and 32 in a skin tone. I'm actually using the lightest color from Rainbow Loom's Mixed Camouflage Pack. We're going to start by constructing his arms. You want to take two rubber bands in the blue color of his jacket and place them where the arrow is. Then another two of that same blue. Now we're going to switch to one blue and one black because his jacket has that really cool trim on it. Then switching to two of the skin tone for his wrist. And one rubber band that we're going to wrap three times around this peg for his hand. And then repeat for the other arm. Two blue, two blue again, one black and one blue for the next position, two of your skin tone, and then one wrapped around here three times. Then take your hook and starting where you've just placed that tripled over band, you're going to pull back, catch those bands, pull them forward, and repeat for the other arm. Then we're going to place the hook in, put your thumb over so you don't lose it, and pop the arms off. And you'll want to slide this onto the thicker portion of your hook so you don't lose it. And do the other one. And now the two arms are ready. We're going to set those aside for now. To create the bow tie, Take two rubber bands, place them across any two pegs. Take another single black rubber band, place it underneath, and then hold both sides of that band, open one side up wide, and pull the other side of that same band in the middle so that it creates a slip knot. And pull it tight, and then you can pop that off the loom to use as your bow tie. Working from the top of the head, we're going to take a single black rubber band where the arrow is and pull it forward. Then taking two at a time from the center peg out to one side and again the center peg out to the other side. Then two black bands here and two black bands on this side for his hair. Then switching to the skin tones, two going down the center, and then we're going to add three more pairs down the middle.
and then on the side you're going to do two that go straight, two rubber bands at a time for two positions. And then the next one is going to angle in for the bottom of his face like that and then do the same on the other side. So two going straight and then the third comes in on the angle to where his chin would be. And then on this position right here, we're gonna take a single band and wrap it around three times. It creates a much better chin if that's there. So slide that down and then we're ready to move on to his neck. So two more skin tone for his neck. And then switching to his jacket color from the center out to the side and the center to the other side. From his shoulder, we're going to go down three positions with the blue. For the sides of his jacket. Repeat that on the other side. And then white in the middle for his dress shirt. Three positions for that too, also using two rubber bands at a time. And now switching to the black for his pants, two at a time from the center to the side, and the center to the other side. And then for each of his legs, two at a time for two spots. And then for his shoes, we're switching to white, followed by a tripled over band, because his shoes are kind of black and white, and this works out well. There you go. And repeating on the other side two black and another two black bands in the next position and then the two white ones and the one black band wrapped around three times and we need to place the triangle bands across the body to keep it together using blue in the spot right above his pants and one more for his body and you can place one for the bottom of his face before placing the next triangle band we want to place a black band on each of these two pegs wrapped around three times these are going to become his eyes or sunglasses so that's one Put the other on this side. Three times is what works well for Rainbow Loom brand black. If you have different brand of rubber bands, you may need to twist more or less. Then put the triangle band on top and bring your hook over with those arms that are almost ready to go on and catch those three black bands, bring them up and over the peg onto that triangle band. Like that. And then one more triangle band for the top of his head. And we're ready to attach his arms. So stretching out all of the bands that are on your hook. Just want to get them right over that shoulder spot. and on the other side as well. Like 
All the rubber bands are in place now. Beginning at his feet, place your hook in to catch those two white bands. Bring them forward. And again, going right up his leg. And finishing off the pants. And then coming to the other side to do the same. And the bottom of his jacket going straight up to his shoulder just like you would construct a triple single bracelet. the other side of his jacket and we need to attach his bow tie which we've already constructed it's over here so we're going to take this and the long band that has the slip knot on it we're going to put around this peg three times. And then we can wind the bow tie into place after we've hooked all the bands. So working our way up from the center to do his dress shirt. then his two shoulders and then we can work his neck One of my bands just broke. I always leave these errors in so you can see how I resolve them. This is a rather annoying rubber band to have break, but I'm sure this happens to you all the time too. So what I'm going to do, take another rubber band of the same color, come in here with my hook, catching it on the side, and then bringing it up and in. And I need to, I've got this one to the side where it needs to be, put my hook in here, open up this one so that this one can go underneath, and then putting these two back in place. And if it looks like one's twisted, then just come back and untwist. Now they're both where they need to be. And coming back in here to catch the two bands that are gonna go up the side of his face. Back in. That way. And here, this way too. So now you've seen I break bands too but you can usually put them back. And working the side of his face. And the middle. And this side, Let's see how do I do this so you can see better? Move my hand out of the way, that would help. And 
and then the top of his head. Bringing my hook in here to catch that one band that's all the way at the bottom. Putting both sides of that band on my hook and pulling this side of the band through the other, like that. And it creates a slip knot that will hold it all together and we're ready to take him off the loom. Using the hook to help so that I don't break any more rubber bands today. gonna pop him off and get him dancing. Now I don't know if any of you know how to do stop action videos but I would love to see a stop action video of a whole bunch of these guys dancing. <laughs> if you do that definitely link to me I would love to see it. Taking extra care with this super tricky neck. There are a lot of bands on this position. I'm not doing this very gracefully today, am I? <laughs> You're all watching me, making me nervous. Ah, okay, here he is. So now we want to reposition where that bow tie is. We can bring it, oh, there's the rest of that broken rubber band from before. Okay, so I'm going to wind this bow tie into place, you know, lifting bands over as I need to until I'm happy with where it's positioned. I'm gonna bring it here so it's centered in his neck. There we go. That's the right spot. And we're going to tug his eyes forward so that they're more prominent and so you can't see them from the back of the head which is always a little creepy. And we want to make this loop that's at the top disappear if unless you're planning to attach this to a backpack in which case you'll want to keep that loop but if you're not, then just pull it over and put your hook in down below and pull that black loop down until it disappears. You may need to tuck it in to more than one spot to get it to disappear. But then you've got your guy ready to dance. And maybe he'll have a friend to play with. Hope you enjoyed making this action figure with me today. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, and if you haven't already, subscribe because I've got lots more great projects coming up soon. Comment below if you have suggestions of other Rainbow Loom designs I should be making. And I hope that you had as much fun with this as I did. Bye-bye.